On this segment of Power TV, we take you to Scorpion Performance in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. A leading manufacturer of engine components, Scorpion has progressively introduced new performance parts manufacturing using some of the most state-of-the-art robotic machines in the world. Scorpion manufactures a lot of parts, from rocker arms, lifters, valves, valve springs, push rods, to even throttle bodies. Scorpion is designing, engineering, testing, and manufacturing a wide array of racing products. Today you'll get to see how Scorpion manufactures rocker arms, from bar stock, machining, to anodizing, the entire process, and it's all right under their roof. Most people in the racing community know who Scorpion Performance is. What everybody's going to be pleasantly surprised at now is the, the vast amount of new products that we're bringing on under the Scorpion Racing Products brand, including lifters, push rods, valves, valve springs, throttle bodies, installation lube, and, and a myriad of other products that are in the pipeline coming down the road. What makes Scorpion different than most other uh, manufacturers of high performance parts is that our parts are made in America instead of overseas. Our robotically operated machines work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and uh, we can literally uh, produce these parts at a much higher quality and at a lower cost. So it's a big benefit for our customers that we can do that. The manufacturing process uh, really begins with the raw material that comes in, uh, comes in the door. We buy uh, directly from the mill and uh, you know, huge quantities of material uh, at, you know, per order. And uh, we design everything here in-house and uh, basically you just drop bar stock into, uh, into the machine and it, and it spits out finished rockers about every minute and a half. So it's a, it's a pretty great deal, especially with the rockers. All of our machine tools are uh, top of the line stuff you can get. You know, everything's so so advanced these days. You know, all the machines run by themselves, 24 hours a day, six days a week. If it breaks a tool, it'll call you on your cell phone to let you know about it. From start to finish, the robotic arms, CNC machining, and automated processes allow Scorpion to make a stronger rocker arm very affordable. Then they get ready to get beautiful. After that, it gets tumbled. You know, to, to remove all the all the sharp edges and burrs and uh, it actually puts a little bit of a polish on it. Uh, then it moves into the actual mirror polish department and they mirror shine that thing and it really uh, uh, brings all the molecules of the, of the material closer together. You get a lot uh, closer structure and it, it makes the part stronger and, and more durable uh, besides the fact that it looks like a jewel. After that it gets anodized, plated, you know, uh, mainly for uh, the extra luster and, and look of the, of the anodized product. Uh, but as, as well it protects it, you know, it protects it from corrosion and uh, makes the part harder and stronger. It all starts with a chemical treated bath that is actually charged with electricity. After multiple steps, they come out with a new color and are set out to dry. Scorpion produces rockers not only in their trademark blue, but in other colors as well. Next up is the laser etching process, where freshly colored rockers are placed onto a mounting plate. The high heat of the laser scribes each rocker arm with both the part number and the Scorpion logo. It's a really cool process that ends with the rocker arms getting assembled and quality checked each by hand. All the products that we manufacture are tested thoroughly on the dyno just to make sure that you know nothing's going to break and we put a lot of cycles on everything just to make sure it's durable before we you know, release it into the market. We make engine jewels that perform as well as they look. Now ready for a home in an engine, the rocker arms are sorted, boxed, and ready for shipment. That wraps things up for our segment. We showed you how a rocker arm was produced from a single piece of bar stock, robotically machined in-house, anodized, and even laser etched. It's an interesting look at how one company is applying robotic technology to the automotive performance industry. And who knows where this set of rockers may be going, from an all-out drag car, to a street car, or even inside your engine.